Hi Flosstube, my name is Alyssa Jones, also known as AJ Stitch on Instagram, and I'm coming to you today to give you some updates on my cross stitch projects and a little bit of knitting. Thanks for joining me. I've been pretty busy this month. Last time I filmed was I think January 5th, and since then I've worked on a lot of different things and made some good progress. So I'm going to start with my WhipGo projects. This is my whip go board. A whip is a work in progress, and this is a stitch along hosted by Jesse Marie of Jesse Marie Does Stuff. And in whip go this year, I've set the goal of working on each of these whips for five days in a month that they're called. And I've completed all of mine, they're all checked off. And my definition of a day is at least one hour, and all of my whips that I've worked on for this got even more than an hour for the most part. So one of those was Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, which is by Carriage House Samplings. And here's the, hat, the photo of what it will look like. And I had already completed block one and two, and I had started block five. And my five days of stitching got me through most of block five but the whole rest of that block is complete full coverage. It is all stitching. This is on a 40 count linen, some sort of natural color, and it's lovely to stitch with. I'm doing one strand of floss over two, and I just love it, but so many stitches. So that was five days, and that's all I have it on the WhipGo board for the whole year. But I liked it so much that I'll keep working on it now, which was kind of my goal with WhipGo, was to visit my projects, make myself put time into them, and then enjoy working on them so I can keep going. So that was one of my WhipGo's. The next one I'm gonna get out is the Scary Apothecary series. And I had already stitched Bat Bomb, and I had started this last time I filmed. And this is Bitter Brew. And I'm stitching this on 32 count linen that I dyed myself. And you can see here, both of them on this giant piece. And there's Bat Mom, which is already done. And I got so far on Bitter Brew. But then yesterday I started putting in the Sparkle Krynik for these bottles. And they're stitched straight. Like you can see that one makes the perfect little rectangle with the satin stitches. These two are so wonky and I've checked them and checked them. So before I stitch any other bottles, I'm gonna stitch the row of stitches that goes underneath. And I'm hopeful that will keep my bottles from getting so wonky looking. Otherwise, they're just gonna be wonky. I'm not going to redo all of those sparkly bottles, but I'm pretty happy with that amount of progress. And I'm stitching these in the order they were released for no reason other than I'm a little type A and I like to go in order. And stitching this one was a lot of stitches where the next one in the pattern in the series that I plan on stitching is Broomstick Fuel and that is nowhere near as dense so that should stitch up faster. Let's see. But I also liked working on that one and I got more Krynic braid in and I'm having fun working with that. Maybe that will get more progress too. Oh, I'm sorry, how rude of me. There are two snuggles happening behind me in my stitching spot. This is Peanut, who you've met before, and that's Apollo. He's so excited that we're filming in here because this is his favorite room in the house. He doesn't really like it when I'm in any other room of the house, but he likes this room. And then I worked on Hedgerow Birds by Blackbird Designs. And I laugh because I was so excited to finish this first side of it and start the back. And oh, I made such a big mistake. I, here's my front. And this is like on a 22 count linen. It could be the called for color, I'm not sure. And there was supposed to be a year here, but I've decided to leave it off. And then you stitch it so that there's the top front part of the project bag, and then you leave a 12 row gap and you start the back side of the bag. Now what happened 
is when I was doing the border, which I decided I was gonna stitch across the border from the corner and then up and around and work my way down because that's how I prefer to stitch. But then when I was doing this, I missed about 10 rows of border and I stitched all the way around and it wasn't until I was coming down here that I realized how far off I was. So instead of panicking, I've decided that I'm going to just fudge the pattern of it. And I'm going to take out this whole row of stitches and these little in-between stitches, and I'm going to shorten the plant and maybe move those up or shorten those too. I think it'll all fit within the border that I've stitched. I don't really know, but I'm hopeful because I don't want to take all of that out. And I'm pretty sure I could just have that side be shorter stitched. So it's going to be a couple inches shorter. And I was just going to sew a row of buttons across there. And maybe this is actually going to become the front and that's the back. Because in the picture, you can see they, sew, they actually did buttonholes and there was probably no way I was going to do buttonholes anyway on my finish. So, I don't know. It's going to work out okay, right? And Apollo, this yellow lion back here, he's needed so many reminders to not bite the patterns. And I say things to him like, no, not the out of print Blackbird Designs pattern. And you can see he got it. Like that is well chewed. He thinks part of stitching involves hole punching. It doesn't, but all of my patterns have holes because of him. Peanut would never do that. Okay. So those were my WIPCO projects and I'm thrilled with how much further I got. And because of how I was doing WIPCO, I still left me plenty of time to work on other projects. One of those is my Christmas list by Silver Creek samplers. And I decided I was going to do one section of words every month to get this done in time for Christmas. And that'll actually have it done in about seven months. So this time I was doing the gingerbread and I finished it. So there's the gingerbread and I even got part of the stocking started because I had white out and I usually just finish a color if I can instead of putting the floss away. So that's coming along nicely. It's getting there. These are big. This is, I think, so, uh, close to around a 32 count mystery linen that I bought on eBay many years ago. So, happy with that and I probably won't get this one back out until February where I will stitch hang your stockings. Then my lunch stitching, I brought it home this weekend thinking I would work on it since it was a three-day weekend and I really didn't. I got distracted by other things but there's Snowy Chockful by Hands on Design in collaboration with Priscilla Blaine and all I really have left is the jar show you the actual pattern here. A bit of a glare. There it is. So I only have the jar and the bottom little garland left and I like to stitch the smalls too. So that's close, about halfway. And when I have to go through still and add details to the snowmen, they all get eyebrows and little cheeks. I don't know if you can see, like those little tiny stitches do give them a little personality. There's another little set of eyebrows, but I haven't done all the eyebrows yet. That's super cute and fun to work on. It doesn't have very many colors. I think there's only four colors in this one, maybe five with their noses. And it's pretty relaxing stitching. And the jar should be very relaxing once I do the outline. Let's see. I also pulled out Basket Full of Winter Time by With Thy Needle and Thread. And here's the pattern. And I I'm stitching this on a tiny linen. I think it's a 40 count. So this is quite small, but I made some good progress. The reindeer's almost done. Santa's almost done. That house is so pretty. And this I just pulled out a couple times and stitched a little bit and it just was so much fun to stitch. Just love it. So much progress. And that one is on my Whipco board, but it's on there as the series because I want to stitch them all. I've done autumn time and now winter time, but I have spring and summer ready to stitch too. One night I pulled out the Mary and Minty 
Sal by With Thy Needle and Thread, which I do not have a picture of. The pattern is free on the With Thy Needle and Thread Facebook page. You can still download it. I checked this week because I'd only printed part one and two of the stitch along and I needed part three because I finished part two and I got to start Santa. Oh, no, I didn't finish this. I almost finished it. You can see the leaves are there. I have a few more leaves to do. But I had finished the last poinsettia and Santa was the same color. So I went up here and started Santa. I'm thrilled with how that one's turning out. When I initially started it, I messed up this whole candy stripe and had to redo it. My tree was a mess. It was a disaster. I forgot to leave room for candy canes. And so this one had a lot of frogging initially, but then it got better. And this, I think, is another 32 count. I think it might be a remnant of what I used for my um, Little House Neo Works ABCs because I still have like this long strip left and that seems very likely that that's what it was left over from. I'm not sure of the actual color though. It's very gray, which I love. I would like more gray linen, but linens just seem so hard to get a hold of right now. And then this one I started. I have two new starts to show, two. And this was one of them I started this, this past Saturday. This is, um, oops, I don't want to show the pattern. And I have it in there inside out because the floss colors are on one side and the pattern's on the other. So I just have it in the bag, but you can't see the picture. So there it is. Let's Talk Winter by Hands On Design. And there's a stitch along group on Facebook for this, which is great everybody's showing their progress and you get to see the different fabrics everybody chose to stitch it on it's absolutely gorgeous and i did put all of my project information for this one on a project card that i ordered from s ward designs on etsy and these are great i did this on a two-year one and so it has the 2021 calendar and the 2022 calendar and you can see all i've done though is work on it for one day i just circled it and you can see all the information. So the pattern, the designer, and the fabric is on there. So mine is 30 Count Midnight by Southern Stitchers Company, which is who I ordered my linen from. And my one day of work involved watching some football and a movie, and that's how far I got. Which I thought was a pretty respectable start. And my goal is to just keep working on this one and have it done by the end of winter or by the time the spring one comes out because I want to stitch them all. I have that problem with series. I love to start big series. Choices we all make. My other new cross-stitch start was, and I have a project card, it is Quaker Snowflakes by Hello from Liz Matthews. And I started this on January 5th and I worked on it five times. I'm stitching this with Karen Water Lilies. See how I made a note. Karen Water, Killy, Water, Karen Water Lilies 194, which is South Pacific. And it's a beautiful, beautiful silk. And here's my floss. And I love pulling this one out because it's I'm doing it all in one color so far. So it's very relaxing to stitch Quakers all in one color. And they're very lovely symmetrical Quakers. So once you get one side done, you can just keep working. I'm stitching this on 32 count Silvery Moon Lagana, and I just absolutely love it. Oh, those Quakers. And the floss has a really nice variegation. So when I was looking at the pattern, you can see that she shows it stitched all in one color. And this is on the called for on a darker fabric. And what I'm playing with I'm not sure if it'll show, is to do all of the snowflakes and the glad tidings in the um, water lily silk. And then I was considering either just doing the bird or maybe the bird and the trees in a bright white. But I'm just not sure it's gonna show up on this fabric because that's a very pale silver. I don't know, but those are the decisions I have to stress over. So it's not a terrible thing getting there though and this is the complete size of the top so I almost have that first row of Quakers done and they're just lovely 
I'm stitching this with one strand of silk over two. And the project cards are really nice, very handy, and I like to circle those little dates. I find that very satisfying. So remember, S. Ward Designs on Etsy. I'll link her below. And she sent me some extra ones to try out too when I made my order. Um, some of them were to like track hours, which I don't typically do, but maybe one day I'll want to. You never know. So those are all my cross stitch whips. I do have some cross stitch acquisitions. I made an order from 123 Stitch because I needed the, um, the Krynic braid for the Scary Apothecary series. So I ordered um, Buzzy String by Lizzie Kate because I have those strings in the other room that I put on the metal tray, but I only have two of them, three of them stitched and I need some for springtime. I also got part three of the Frightful Mystery Sampler by Lizzie Kate because I have part one done. I've started stitching part two, but I didn't have the pattern for part three. So that needed to come so I could make sure I get that whip done this year. And then I needed the next chalk full. I like to look at them and have them in the bag kitted up ready to go when I know I'm getting close to the end of a project in a series. So this one I need to order floss for or check my stash but I am pretty excited to stitch those little bunny heads. And then the other thing I ordered, and if you are a floss tuber watching this, please know that you are probably the cause of this purchase because I feel like everybody had it and I needed it too, which is Winds of Autumn by Blackbird Designs. And it does have some absolutely gorgeous projects in it. I love this one. And I haven't stitched a house in quite a while. I think there was another one in here that had a crazy border that I really wanted to do too. I say that now when I get to the border and count wrong, it will probably be very different. And you'll have to hear me complain about how I didn't count right and had to change the whole design, but it'll all work out. Let me see, I'm just flipping through quick. I know it was in here, oh, this one. It's not on the cover. Make sure I don't show the pattern. This one is called Patchwork Pumpkin and I just love that. That border is so fun. I could miscount that. Mm -hmm. so that was Winds of Autumn by Blackbird Designs. Those are my acquisitions. I also have a bit of a dilemma. I finished stitching the Year in Chalk series this past year. And I cannot, no idea where I cannot find my January Let It Snow. It's stitched. I have pictures on my phone of it being stitched. It's gone. And then I know if I stitch it again, I'll find it. So I have a bit of a dilemma and I'm debating whether or not I want to start that one. So my plans, now that my WIPCO projects are all set for the month, I started on my phone a tiny decisions wheel where I put the WIPCO projects that were called and I didn't finish completely. And for my morning coffee stitching, I spin the wheel and then whatever comes up, I just stitch on that for my morning coffee time, which could be like anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes of stitching in the morning, depending on how early I wake up. And we'll see if I make any more progress on those. And otherwise, I'm just gonna keep picking from my whip bin and seeing what comes out. I also have some knitting progress. So that's the end of my cross stitch for the day. I set a goal to finish my first sock of my 12 days of Christmas yarn by Timber Yarns. And I did it, there it is, he's so cute, right? I stitched this on um, size one, nine inch circular needles, and it's got this lip stitch heel. These are vanilla socks, the pattern by Crazy Sock Lady. Super easy to follow, little Kitchener stitch toe, and all of that. I was going to do different colors for the heels and toes, but I honestly just got a little lazy and I just wanted to keep knitting and not fuss about the other color. So they ended up just staying that single color. And then I also got the cuff of the next sock stitched and started the leg. And Timber Yarns sends their, sells their yarn in two skeins for socks so that they'll be the same. So it makes it super easy to make two matching socks. And these ones are so fun. Those are going to be hopefully done by the next time I film. I say that, but that is my goal, that they're completely done. And my other knitting project has been the 
Hyper Knit Along Winter Lights Shawl, which is a knit along being held by Stephen West. And this is my shawl pattern, which I bought on Etsy. I think you can also buy it on another website for him, but I actually made a huge mistake on this last night. And I've debated and debated on whether or not I'm gonna take it out because I'd have to take out two rows of this. And that's about over 600 stitches of on knitting. And that just sounds terrible. So I think I'm just gonna leave it because I know that some of you will notice the mistake, but when I'm wearing it, nobody's ever gonna notice my mistake. So here is section one, two, and now three done. And this this was fun. These were the these were called dots and bubbles. And those little bubbles were fun to do. I've never done that before. So that's making progress, and I'm about to start section four. But my mistake is that this got off one pattern and my whole row almost the I kept slipping the gray and I was supposed to switch to slipping the blue so it's just gonna look a little different I really just don't think it's a big enough section of shawl for me to worry about undoing it I think I should just go into section four and enjoy it so those are my knitting pro those are my knitting projects and they're they're definitely getting there and I've just been having so much fun working on all of my projects when I want to which is a bit of a treat so already this month I've knit or stitched every single day and my I write down on my calendar what I've worked on and I've been able to pull out multiple projects every day and it's been fun and I feel like there was a lot of progress um, everybody, I've been loving watching all of your progress on your projects and thanks everyone who commented. Your comments are always very kind and supportive and I greatly appreciate that. And otherwise, I hope to film again in a couple weeks and maybe have some finishes or be ready to start my February whip goes. And so I look forward to seeing you all then. Everybody take care.